यतः प्रवृत्तिर्भूतानाम येन सर्वमिदम ततम स्वकर्मणा तमभ्यर्च सिद्धिम विंदति मानव इट मीन्स दट वन शुड परफॉर्म वन ड्यूटी एज अ वर्शिप टू गॉड ऑल माई टी एंड गॉड इज प्लीज बाय सच परफॉर्मेंस द भगवद गीता प्रोस्क्राइब्स भक्ति योग कर्म योग ध्यान योग हथ योग एंड राज योग फॉर द अटेनमेंट ऑफ गॉड आउट ऑफ द फाइव कर्म योग इज द बेस्ट पार्ट फॉर अ कॉमन मैन टू वॉक ऑन इन ऑर्डर टू रीच गॉड सच अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ भक्ति दट इज वर्शिप एंड कर्म ड्यूटी हैज बिन रिकमेंडेड बाय ऑल द वेरीड सेंस ऑफ दिस होली लैंड ऑफ इंडिया द इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट has got a very long and rich tradition in philosophy one branch of this strong tree of philosophy is the disciplic succession of sadguru shri datta bhakta akkal kot nivasi shri swami samarth maharaj shri ramanand bidkar maharaj shri sadguru vasudevanand saraswati swami maharaj shri sadguru digambar das maharaj shri sitaram bua palavalkar The member of this sub branch left his mortal body in 1969. In confirmation with the yogic preachings of Bhagavad Gita, late Sri Digambar Das Maharaj chose the social service and the betterment of the quality of life of the underprivileged as his karma. And to achieve his goals, he established Sri Sant Sita Ram Bua Vala Valkar Charitable Trust in 1969. and shri vithal rao joshi charities trust in 1977 at deerwan near chiplun in the konkan region of the state of maharashtra the konkan region has been deprived of the modern development for very long and this feature qualifies it to be the location of the trust which is situated at deerwan 19 kilometers away from chiplun fulfillment of the basic minimum needs of the people of deerwan and its vicinity is a very obvious duty of the trust providing for the daily needs of the people was the first step one such venture is a work for everyone 10 lakh people have been helped up with jobs during the span of 20 years approximately 21 lakh rupees have been spent on this scheme agriculture is the primary source of living for the inhabitants of this region but unfortunately the majority of farmers cannot afford to have their own cattle here the institution comes to their aid and gives them the same they are not allowed to sell the cattle seeds are made available to the needy farmers reviewing the desperate conditions the villagers are provided with blankets and women with sarees for free Childhood is usually the most helpless victim of destitution. In order to protect the innocent, carefree childhood of the children, they are also provided with various toys and play material. The roofs of the houses of the poor are thatched with dry leaves and straw. They very easily catch fire during the scorching summers in this tropical part of the earth. To stave off this fatal disaster, the trust provided the people with the mangalore tiles to cover their roofs with the trust has taken care of the floor tiles of the houses of the needy one of its very commendable work is the construction of permanent toilets at different places scattered all over the district especially for women the period between march to june is a very dry period for the villagers every year the paucity of water is life threatening during this period of 3 months the trust arranges for the water tankers that fetch water from the koina dam that is 15 kilometers away thrice a day and makes the water reach the dervanites and the others in the adjacent villages this has been happening for the last 12 years at the cost of 7.5 lakh rupees The water project includes the financial assistance for the servicing of the old wells and the digging of new bore wells. The trust has taken the initiative in the construction of a small dam on the river Kashyapi. This dam is the savior of the fields in the region and enables the farmers to grow crops throughout the year. The development is lopsided and incomplete. 
without smooth and efficient transport facilities. The trust has connected the villagers with the outer world with the construction of good roads. It builds four kilometers of roads every year. For the internal communication and traffic, it has built small iron bridges on the river Kashabi and its rivulets. A highly important and useful undertaking of the trust is that of Bhakta Shreshta Kamalakarpant Wala Walkar Hospital Ani Rog Nidan Kendra. The necessity for the establishment of this hospital naturally flowed from the absence of the most modern medical help and the economic incapacity of the people to avail of such help. The resolution of Digambar Maharaj in 1969 to build this hospital had to wait till 1996 to get translated into reality. The hospital, which occupies seven acres of the vast 150 acres of land, is equipped with the latest technology and the most developed machinery. 60 beds, separate wards for men and women, two operation theatres with the up-to-date equipment. The outpatient department takes care of almost 150 to 200 patients every day. The hospital employs highly qualified doctors who are capable of undertaking surgeries of all kinds. It also boasts of the resident medical officers qualified with MS and MD degrees who are available to patients all 24 hours of the day. The hospital is complete with diagnostic center, CT scan, ultrasound, x-ray, dialysis facilities, and a pathological laboratory. It has got exceptionally good accommodation facilities for the visiting doctors too. Though it provides the medical services of the highest ilk, the fees for them are much less compared to the ones charged by the hospitals in the metros like Mumbai and Pune. The lower income groups get up to 70% discount in the total charges. The needy are provided with the expensive injections and medications on a non-profit basis. The stress care center helps the people to beat and survive the pressures and stress generated by the modern lifestyle. The cardiography department has been appreciated by many foreign experts. The prenatal department of the hospital with eight incubators is highly functional in taking care of premature babies. It has got an ideal blood bank for the blood storage and it can meet the demand for blood as and when required. In order to protect the health of women and children of the rural areas, the Trust runs a free nutritious food scheme. To fight the widespread phenomenon of malnutrition among pregnant mothers and children, they are nourished with nutritious food and tonics. To achieve the long-term twin goals of converting the local people into the medically trained personnel, and generating employment, the Trust runs a Sri Swami Samartha nursing school and college. The principle, to serve humanity, is to serve God. Inculcated in them while they are being trained into modern sciences and techniques. Food and nutrition. 